morning. Uh, nice and early here this morning. Bit of a cloudy morning this morning, but it's warm. It's starting to rain there, but I don't care because we are off to the Bewley Weekend, the Bewley Auto Jumble Weekend. One of my favourite days in the year, in the calendar. Um, so we've got the old, well, not so old really, the uh, battle bus ready for the weekend there. So we've got straps and ramps. Three ramps might be a bit of a giveaway. So keep that in mind. Three ramps. Wonder what I'm going to get in the back of here. Blankets to wrap things up if we buy them. Um, I don't know whether I glanced on the Chevrolet truck. That's We've just brought that out to storage actually because while I'm away today, we've got a potential customer come to look at that. And if he's after one and he doesn't buy it, well, I'm afraid he'll never, ever, ever, ever find another one like that. Right, there's my co-pilot coming out. Let's hit the road. Right, I'm down in Bewley, outside the Huntsman pub, or as I like to call it, the Rose and Crown, as it used to be. Uh, I'm going to flick the camera around. Faithful assistant popping over the top there, the rental van. I took the ramps with us, uh, three ramps the other day when we were going to pick this vehicle up and I'm going to give you a clue of what we got, there you go, that's enough, so you'll have to watch the video and see what it is. So we're heading towards the show field there, spring out of jungle. Dun -dun 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 and he's off. car and each little caravan not fantastic but well, he hasn't told that very far we'll just show you you can do it if you want there you go may purely very, very quiet. Very quiet. Right, so, Bewley. Um, we're at Bewley and we're going to the Auto Jumble for the last day and then heading home. Have we been successful? That. And a mystery item that I've bought, which I'm not going to reveal to you, uh, is about the whole sum total, apart from under here somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, got some brake shoes for a veteran van, that's about it. Right, everyone, quick update on what's happening. Um, the next thing I want to show you, you might get a bit of a surprise and think, what the hell has he bought that for? But all will be revealed. Right, there you go, there's the front of it. And from the front, it looks like a Volkswagen Transporter, which it is. And from that side, it looks like a camper van, which it's not. I'll show you inside in a minute. Fitted with an outdoor telly. Awning. Back door, which I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. And a slide out section for the automatic. So. What's the crap with it and why have I bought it? Well, I'll nip in the cab and I'll explain. Let me tell you, in the cab is something to behold because this vehicle has a mileage discrepancy on it. Now, the mileage discrepancy says the vehicle has done 19,000 miles, but we know it's only done five. And looking at the condition of it, Seats, dash, whatever. I think that's all it has done. So why have I bought it? Why have I bought it? I know I buy and sell commercials, and I could probably sell this tomorrow, to be fair, to a camper guy. I mean, with that low mileage, even if it is, I can't prove it's the 5,000 and it goes with the 19,000. 19,000 miles? Underneath is like brand new. It's got an Alco chassis on the back. That's brand new. Um, 
inside there it's got absolutely everything which i'm going to show you in a minute yeah it would make a good camper conversion but why do i want it well i'll tell you why i want it i go to car shows in fact my me, me own car shows saturday uh and events and after a couple of hours i find myself wandering round and round and round and and, and, and people come up to us and they'll ask us for a card, a business card or whatever. And I feel I'm missing a trick. What I want this unit for is to take to events. So we take it to events, put a couple of cars out for sale, showcase the product. And also with the TV screens, I can play a disc or a, I don't know what they are, dongles or something, aren't they? I can I can play an inventory of all my cars. So if somebody says, "Oh, what cars have you got for sale?" You can turn around and say, "Well, if you watch that TV for two or three minutes, they'll all come up there." So that's basically what I want it for as an advertising tool for my classic car business, and also a bit of pleasure as well. So when I go away to an event, you know, I can have a cup of tea. I, I, somebody wants to come in and have a drink, they can have a drink and a bit of that there, and that's. That's basically what it is. So what's the plans for it? Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So basically, it's a 2015 uh, Volkswagen. I mean, look at the tyres, you can tell. You can tell it's like brand new, can't you? Underneath there, it's just like, like new. Anyway, so it's got a clever self-leveling jacking system. You can see one of the jacks there. The back wheels off the bottom and i don't know how much that must have cost but that must have cost a fortune there it is there fitted to the vehicle there's the slide out section so you can see you're gonna you get at least another meter on this section bodywork wise we're going to Respray it in the same colour grey as the recovery truck. So we'll make it nice and modern. Um, this door here, not too sure what we're going to do with it. Probably put a bit of glass in it. And the rear door, I'm not sure where. Again, we might get rid of that rear door. I don't think we're going to need it. Right, access. Now it has got a fantastic set of aluminium steps, but they are too heavy and cumbersome to carry around. So we will get some sort of automatic uh, step system here. Right, we'll move inside. Ugh, excuse the grunts and groans. Right, so we're in. And there you have it. So basically what we've got is i know it looks a bit of a mess but everything's just chucked in we've got this lovely big bright open space there's a tv fitted on there and there's a tv fitted on the outside that's the tvs in here we have a solar panel on the roof and we have the charging system and God knows what that must have cost to put in. All right, yeah, and this, this pulls the whole lot back in and out. As you can see, and I'm gonna unplug that and plug it in there because that'll get yanked out it's obviously been yanked out once before so we're going to strip it out and start again some features we'll leave in are the air conditioning and the Aspacha night heater which is down there um, it's also got a handy electric awning on the side which I haven't quite figured out how to work so the basics are there for what we want it's just how are we going to do it so anybody watching the video wants to uh, 
put a few comments in, please comment because I am a bit lost on it to be fair. I've never done a camper conversion. Um, I don't really want a camper as such. I don't really want a camper, like I say, as such, because if I'd wanted a camper, I would have bought a camper. I want it as a entertaining unit, really. So I can showcase the business, like I say, a bit more. I can get the shows, I can get the hill climbs, get the different events, park up, what do you do? Or oh, we sell classic cars, you know, how do you sell them? Will we buy them outright or we'll we'll sell them on a commission basis for you? Um, a slightly cheaper commission than what probably a, a car auction would charge you, to be fair. Um, so that's what the whole setup's for. It's to promote the business. It's to show people that we are 100% serious about buying and selling classic cars. Um, this unit here, I tried to think what it would cost when it was new. But I think it would start with a hundred at the front of it. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm pretty positive it did. Um, but again, it's a bit white and clinical for me. So if anybody's got any suggestions what to do, I've never, I've never done a conversion on a van before. We're halfway there. We know it's got the electrics, the plumbing, the TVs, the Wi-Fi, uh, the aircon, the heating. So we're halfway with that. And the rest just, just furnishings really. So anyway, watch this space. If you like this video or any of the videos that we have, please like and subscribe. Because again, like I keep saying, I keep bringing interesting things. The more people that watch the videos, the more interesting things I'll buy. Bye bye now. Right, what's in the van? Well, I'm going to show you what's in the van. Because like I keep saying, I keep buying these interesting vehicles from all over the world, basically, in all ages. And if you keep watching my YouTube videos, you'll see that a lot of them aren't the run of the mill vehicles. So, just quickly, recent trip to Bewley, didn't really purchase anything. Sign, air tower, a few bits and bobs. But on the way, I picked up this. Yeah. Now, at first glance, you might think, what the hell is that? And if I hadn't seen one before, well, not this particular me, I would have said, what the hell is that? Right, we're going on the back of the van, we'll have a better look at it. So, what we have is a very interesting little thing. Um, don't know anything at all about the manufacture of this machine. I do know the engine and frame are original, but the front half, which I'll just get in the van and show you. Basically, the basket contraption looks like that has been made pretty recently out of the line. Kind of spoils it really because if it had been made out of a tubular section, um, would have looked more in period. But what a fascinating little thing. Now, I can't find any numbers on it. The only thing I can find is a maker's name on the engine. And I'm going to turn the phone around. Uh, and it says Rago. Or if it's French, Rivel. But I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. So, quick look at it. Looks like it is in pretty complete condition. It's got a huge carburetor on it, absolutely massive. Um, don't know, CC wise, I'm gonna say 150, 150, 200 possibly. Um, let's like see this huge carburetor. Um, looks like it's got a an atmospheric intake valve and a mechanical mechanical exhaust valve. Could be wrong again. 
haven't had a good look at it like i say it's just been chucked in the van and we're going to start on it next week we'll pull it out we'll have a look um unusual break that's a bit of a uh, ball split i like in it if you come off your seat and hit that <laughs> you come off your seat hit that and that doesn't get your knackers <laughs> Those two definitely will. And then you'll go over the handlebars. No, but an interesting little thing. Um, absolutely fascinating. Um, that's obviously off the off the switch off there. That's, that's uh, come off. Don't know what's in here. Don't know whether it's trembler coil ignition or standard coil. I haven't had a look. We'll have to have a look. It appears to be of, I would say, a drip-fed oil system. So there's the dripper, gel tank, petrol and oil, judging by the um, the setup there. Small oil tank on the side with a plunger. So some form of forced oil system, I would think, which is pretty slack. Uh, yeah. Doesn't appear to have a clutch. It appears to have a a decompressor. So basically, it would be like an early today on tricycle where you came to a junction and you just decompressed it, um, put your brake on, and to start it again, you would just let the decompressor out slowly and pedal, and hopefully she would fire up. So, bit of a strange one. This it's obviously been restored um, the front half sad well looking at the spokes and the wheels and the back half sad new spokes in someone spent a lot of money on it it came from a deceased estate uh, collection um, again I've searched the internet and I can't find a lot a lot on it to be fair there's the maker's name there apparently i mean it might come up as something that's took my fancy that a break do you know what i mean so you much raced in between your legs and and uh pull that knob and that'll stop you well i don't think it'll really stop your life because they're not brilliant are they but there you go belt driven so it's obviously just single single uh single speed transmission um, this looks like one adjusts the choke and the other is your throttle so two levers on there they don't look original they look like they've been made um, but yeah fascinating thing so I'm actually sitting on the trusty stage now it's got some suspension on it um, so like I say if anybody out there does know of the make um, I don't even know whether I'm pronouncing it right, Rival, Revel, or wh whatever. Um, anybody knows that make, um, please, please get in touch with us. Because I I'm falling a blank, I can't find anything on us. Um, Dating-wise, I'd possibly say early. Ooh, ooh, nearly got us. Um, probably, I'm going to put my neck out here a bit. 19... 7 1900 years i could be wrong could be a lot later could be a lot earlier i don't know but please uh if you do know of the manufacturer you know any information please get in touch and like i say please uh press the thumbs up button the like and subscribe please subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost you anything it doesn't cost you a penny but like i keep saying all the time keep repeating it the more people that like the stuff that i keep buying i'll keep buying and i'll keep showing you all this stuff because when was the last time you saw one of these hey i've never seen one before but i know